Nimble Omax visits with us on her presentation at Compliance Week 2023. Hello, everyone. This is Tom Fox back for another episode of our Compliance Week 2023 speaker preview series. Today, I'm thrilled to have Dr. Hema Lomax. Hema, first of all, welcome and thank you so much for taking the time to visit with me today. Oh, Tom, it's always a pleasure. Thank you so much for inviting me here. I'm happy to be with you. Emma, could you tell us what your current role is? Yeah, absolutely. So I currently head up the Global Integrity and Compliance Function at Zendesk. We're a software as a service company, um, and we prize ourselves on customer service, excellent customer service. And so I lead the function there. I'm a VP of Compliance, and I have the job of building out an effective compliance program, but also providing compliance frameworks for other teams that are working on compliance issues. Could you tell us what your presentation is or what panel you're on at Compliance Week and maybe give us a teaser to some of the things you hope to convey? Oh, yeah. So I'm talking about one of my favorite things at Compliance Week this year, risk assessments, um, a bit of benchmarking across best practices, um, what other industries are doing, but really just sharing some ideas and, and thoughts about innovation around how you can approach risk assessment. Tom, as you well know, risk assessment is the foundation of any good compliance program. But hearing those words as a compliance officer, it's a lot of pressure. It's like, huh, it's the foundation. How do I build a good foundation? Um, and how often do I do it? And what does it mean? And so we're going to be exploring those um, options a little bit. Um, I'll tell you that one of my favorite things to talk about is objective-centered risk assessment, which really means you're focusing not just on what the DOJ tells you to do or the SEC, but really the company that you've got before you and the business activities and the culture and what you've got to deal with in your own company. So I'm really excited to share some tips and tricks on how you can get objective-centered risk assessment. And then we'll talk about the hard stuff, like how, do you, how often do you do it? How do you do different risk assessments? Do you do it by function, by region, globally? And the dreaded heat maps, all those kind of things. So stay tuned. We know it's a bone of contention when it comes to how you can do the best risk assessment, but we've been putting some thought into it with my fellow panelists, and we're excited to get some input on what people do and what works. Well, I, for one, am greatly looking forward to your panel. And um, if we could end, Hema, by asking you, uh, what are some of the things you hope to get out of Compliance Week 2023 this year? Oh, you know, the, the best thing about Compliance Week is the people and who, who we're going to meet. I mean, you, you're one of those compliance evangelists that's created a wonderful compliance community. And I've been saying, uh, you know, it's not, there's no competition here. We're all working together to do the best for our companies and the best for the people we work with. And so I'm really looking forward to meeting with all the um other compliance gurus and learning a lot myself and just getting some more ideas for how we can push the needle and mature our programs together. So Compliance Week is always a good one. There's always a lot of fun. Um, I'm look, looking forward to a few dinners and a few happy hours as well, but mainly just the people that come and the content they bring. It's going to be special. Well, Emma, I'm greatly looking forward to seeing you uh, in Dow just a couple of weeks in May in Washington at Compliance Week 2023. Thanks so much. And I look forward to seeing you then. Likewise, Tom. Take care. See you soon. This is Tom Fox again. I hope you'll plan to join me at Compliance Week 2023 National Conference, May 15 to 17 in Washington, D.C.